It was a quiet day at the agency. Chief had just handed me a new case. Another young terrorist punk just moved into a sweet cookie cutter neighborhood. And I knew this cookie would spoil the whole batch. And maybe it was the three ponies of brandy last night. But something about this kid tightened my suspenders. Of all the suburban neighborhoods in the world, why they have to walk into mine? I'd had a beat on Mr. Yusuf ever since he and his good time buddies had started weaseling into this country. Followed his trail from the Yellow Pages to Maple Street. Dumb schmuck. Couldn't even spell his own name right. I'd seen his type before, prancing around in their man dresses and fancy scarves. I don't go around judging people, but when you've got five inches of hair hanging off your face like you got something to hide, well, that just troubles me, Potsy. I went somewhere to get a good look at him. Looks like I picked a good day to visit. He turned in his Saddam wear for something less conspicuous. But a pro like me, I could have spotted him in any crowd. From his first words, I'd know if there was something to worry about. Salam. There's something to worry about. Osama, I want to meet. Uh-oh. Something bad was going to go down if I didn't act soon. This punk was up to no good. A whole heck of a lot of no good. First chance I got, I'd figured I'd look around a little. Something smelled funny in there, and I had a nose for sniffing out trouble. Exhibit A. Box cutters. <laughs> Two things I don't understand about Muslims. Their fascination with box cutters that always end up rusting in your garage, even though it's the middle of July. And this, foreign gobbledygook. Something about that language I don't trust. Anybody who doesn't have time to lift up their pen or write a lousy space between the letters, well, you can't be up to any good. I don't care who you are. There's no excuse for bad penmanship. It looked like the big fish was coming today. My name is Muhammad ibn Fulan ibn Yusuf and I am lucky man. I just moved to America to live with new American wife and today I become all American baby face boy to meet mother-in-law for the first time. But before I meet the mother-in-law I have to unpack. Hey, I could have used this to shave. My wife, she so considered me. She packed all the boxes in both the English and the Arabic, so I no confused. But for mother-in-law today, I dress like all American boy. To make good impress her, tonight I cook for first time, so I call local Arab butcher. Salam. Usama, I want the meat. Maybe I cook the meatloaf. Even monkey can do it. Kelly's late and her mother on the way. I'm so nervous. I have butterflies in my nose. I am lucky man. In this business, there are good days and there are bad days. You might call tackling an old woman a bad day, but if it means making us a little more free, I'd clothesline that broad any day. There's something to learn in every case. So maybe not all of them are terrorists. Just most of them. 